All right, in this video we're going to talk about a method called calculate corners, which is going to be one of the main methods that we use when we're trying to determine collisions and what to do about collisions. So we're going to start by typing the method definition. This method doesn't return anything, <clears throat> but it will be used to calculate corners based on some future or some x and y position. So x position, float y position, and it will need a rectangle r to uh, um, do some of its checks against. So the rectangle r will represent the object that we're trying to see whether or not a collision has happened with, uh, and the x position and y position will be used to calculate some future position of our ball to see if, in fact, it will have collided in uh, one direction or the other. This method will utilize an object called a point, which is just um, an object in Java that, that stores an x and a y position. So it's just more convenient than writing, you know, eight variables. We're only going to be able to, we're going to be able to use uh, an object to represent both an x and a y. So the first one is going to be called top left, tl. And this is going to equal a new point, and we're going to just take the integer component of the x position that we're given, minus the ball size, divided by 2, because the ball size, the x position is the center position, but we want to understand the exterior, uh, the, the left side, so this is the left side of the x. And then we want to take the integer component of the y position, sorry, y position, minus the ball size, divided by 2 also, because it's the top. All right, so that is the first point. This is the top left point of our ball. Okay, it'll be <clears throat> it represents those coordinates that we're checking. So I'm just going to copy and paste that four times. Boop, boop, boop or three times, and I'm going to make some changes. So this is going to be the top right. This is going to be the bottom left. And this is going to be the bottom right, BR. So we have to also make some changes to these things. Well, the top right component is the x position plus half of the diameter of the ball, but it still is minus the ball size because of the top. The bottom left component is the x position minus the ball size divided by 2, but the y component is, we're going to go down, so we need to add half of the diameter, one radius, of the ball from the center point. And then the bottom right, both of these need to be changed to plus. So be very careful. The collisions will not happen correctly unless you have all of these minuses and plus symbols uh, correct. Okay, every time this method is utilized, we're going to reset the values of top left, top right, equals bottom left, equals bottom right, equals false, to indicate that we have not detected a collision yet. But now we are going to uh, <clears throat> figure out if either the top left point intersects with the rectangle, the top right point intersects with this rectangle or overlaps. Um, so if the rectangle, or the position of this rectangle, whatever object this is, if it uh, contains this x and y point. Okay, so we're going to say the Boolean called top left that indicates whether a collision has happened in the top left is going to equal the rectangle dot contains the top left point. Now, I'll, I'll explain this. The rectangle, uh, all rectangles have this method called contains, which can tell whether or not this x and y point exists inside the bounds of this rectangle r. So whether or not this, this if this uh, returns true, there has in fact been overlap between the top left point that we're checking and the rectangle that we're checking, which will be the paddles rectangle and the bricks rectangles, bounding rectangles. Okay, so we're going to do this also with 
um, top uh, top right, bottom left, and bottom right. So I'm going to change all these things. Top right, and then we have to make sure to change this. Top TR. This is going to be bottom left, and this is going to be BL, the point that represents the bottom left of the bounding box around our ball. And this is going to be bottom right equals r.contains br. So this method correctly sets the values of the booleans that remember whether or not we have collided, uh, the ball has collided with something in its top left corner, its top right corner, its bottom left corner, or its bottom right corner. And now those values in the next video are going to be used to actually make decisions regarding where to send the ball based on these collisions.